This is a patient treated with explantation of an artesian lens, cataract extraction with intraocular lens placement, and decimate stripping automated endothelial keratoplasty for bullous keratopathy. The patient was treated at the Moran Eye Center at the University of Utah. A two-site approach was used in order to minimize with the rule corneal astigmatism and to maintain a small temporal wound for phacoemulsification. First, a 0.38 millimeter step knife was used to create a temporal 3.5 millimeter partial thickness corneal incision as well as a 6 millimeter partial thickness incision superiorly. A 2.2 millimeter keratone blade was used to create shelved incisions at both locations. A Sinsky hook is used to disenclavate the artesian lens, starting by removing the inferior iris attachment followed by the superior iris attachment. The lens is stabilized with gooseneck forceps. The Sinsky hook is used again to grab the bridge of the lens and remove the lens through the superior incision. A non-toothed forceps remove the rest of the lens. The superior wound is closed with three tenonylon interrupted sutures. Cataract extraction proceeds through the 2.2 millimeter temporal incision. The one-piece acrylic lens is injected through the temporal incision into the capsular bag. An 8mm mark is made on the cornea by marking a manual trephine. Irrigation aspiration is performed to remove all viscoelastic from the anterior chamber. A 106 micron desate graft was previously trephined using a Moria artificial anterior chamber system and a 350 micron Moria microkeratome. The donor cap is removed. The graft is then washed with balanced salt solution on the stromal side. The graft is placed stromal side down in an 8 millimeter Hesburg Baron donor punch. The graft is then punched using an 8 mm Hesburg Baron donor punch. Next, the graft is folded over on itself. An S marker creates an S mark on the stromal side of the graft. This will allow us to confirm correct orientation of the graft in the eye. The graft is then unfolded using BSS. You can see the S now appears backwards as the endothelial side is facing up. Next, the graft is transferred to a Busen glide and brought into position using a 25 gauge Greasehaber ILM forceps. The ILM forceps are used to finish positioning the graft in the Busen glide. To place the graft, the ILM forceps are inserted through the superior nasal stab incision 
and out the temporal wound to grasp the donor graft. The graft is carefully positioned into the anterior chamber. Fluid is removed from the interface to bring the graft in contact with the patient's cornea. Air is injected underneath the graft to secure the attachment to the patient's cornea. A roller is used to help position the graft. And finally, a Sinsky hook is used to bring the graft to the final position. The anterior chamber is left air-filled for 10 minutes. The patient will then remain supine for 60 to 90 minutes, at which time a small amount of air is removed if necessary to prevent pupillary block. The patient will remain supine for the next 24 hours and be evaluated the following day.